Hi, Adam Wilcox here with RochesterFoodNet.com and it's Cheap Lunch Friday. I'm here at the Swan Market, one of my favorite places in this city. This has been continuously locally owned for 80 years. Uh, the Swan Market itself dates back to around 1970 when Gunter Schwann started the place. He turned it over to Barry Fisher about 10 years ago, almost to the day. Last week was their 10 year anniversary. And it's just the greatest place for German food and German butchered items. Let's check it out and bring our guten Appetit. Yeah. In schön, in schön, in Schwanzmarket. About a dozen kinds of sausage here, maybe more than that actually. And one of the things you can get is a sausage appetizer for $1.50 per person. This is two people worth of a sausage appetizer. And I don't know what all is on here. Those are spicy beef sticks, I'm pretty sure. Probably a Yugoslav sausage, you think, maybe? I don't know. Um, not sure what this is. But usually they give you three or four kinds, and it's a great way to try the various sausages they have here. All right, we got two sampler plates here. And, you know, if I had to pick like one uh, one price meal in all of Rochester is my very favorite thing. This might be it. The sampler plate at the Swan Market, baby. You get four main courses. So we've got Jaeger schnitzel, which is a mushroom gravy over a breaded pork cutlet. We have rouladen, which is uh, pounded beef, which is rolled with uh, mustard and pickle, I believe, and then uh, sauteed. We have uh, roast pork, which is underneath this filling, and it's what they call filling. It's sort of like a dressing, and it's just delicious stuff. And then lastly, we have goulash, a Hungarian goulash over noodles. Then we get all the sides, the noodles, like I said, German potato salad, red cabbage, and sauerkraut, all made right here at the Swan Market. This is a smoke bratwurst and a Cajun sausage, which I'm really curious to try. My favorite German potato salad and, and sauerkraut. Gary over here has uh, something else that's also active. They have two sausages, the smoked bratwurst and the vicewurst, sauerkraut and the red cabbage. I got the, the pork, roasted pork with filling and potato salad and let's see I last time I was here I had the pork chops they were fabulous so but I wanted to try something else. At the moment I have two sides GPS German potato salad not a global positioning system. Yeah but, but we're rechristening GPS it no longer means global positioning system now it means German potato salad. Some sauerkraut and I'm waiting on my sandwich which they're specially making for Yeah they're making a German Reuben for you right? A German bologna Reuben. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Here with Swan Market owner Barry Fisher. And Barry, I got one question in my mind. What's with the pigs? <laughs> pigs are good luck. Pigs are good luck. Pigs are good luck. Well, then you got a lot of good luck because you got, what does Iris say, 180, 90? Yeah, more than her, I think. A lot of pigs. <laughs> so you've owned the place for 10 years now? 10 years. Yeah, I've just paid it off. So. Had a little bit of a party last weekend? Yeah, a lot of bit of a party. Everybody survived? Everybody survived. Yeah. And it came back this week, so that's good. That's excellent. The party had music. We had the music. We set up a tent outside. Right. And the music is something you do regularly, right? The last Thursday and Friday of every month. Yeah. It's a big party here every uh, last Thursday and Friday of every month. Um, so before you, uh, the place was owned by Gunther. Gunther Schwann. Gunther Schwann. Uh, since 1970. 1970. But this place has been here a really long time, right? The early 20s. Yeah, early 20s. And it's been, has it been a meat market the whole time? Meat market the whole time. Wow. Um, started off as Vetter's Market. I'm not sure how long they were here. And then it was a radle. And then 1970, it turned into Swans. Right. And you mostly continued in the same vein that Gunther did, right? Yeah, yeah. We didn't change any recipes. We added a few. Um, 
cut down on the salt a little bit. Get a little contemporary with the lack of sodium. A little bit, a little bit, but you're still going to have the salt in there. It's German food. I mean, you know, it's, it's not for vegetarians. And, uh, yeah, not for vegetarians so much. We do get them once in a while. Yeah. Well, we have a vegetarian. Usually an apple laying around or something like that. So. One of your biggest fans is my daughter, who is a vegetarian, which is kind of amusing. Yeah, we're trying to change her over. Little by little, maybe, but maybe not. Yeah. Well, we love the place. I love the place. You know, I love the place. It's good to be here. Thanks. Thank you. My name is Anna Schwan, and I work for the Schwan Market. And we are a Rochester food that cup. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Da wird die